So I've pre-prepared a metadata file that is in a folder with assets. So you can see this is my asset folder here. It's got a bunch of pictures of pets in it because what better reason to preserve something than if you have beloved pets. <laughs> Um, so I have in here the CSV file that I have pre-filled and you get this on starter from clicking add and going to the templates. And so I clicked on download Dublin core template and I downloaded it and I filled it in for my particular assets. Um, one thing that's important to note here is that the file names need to match exactly, including the file type. Um, that's how we're connecting the metadata to them in the system. So it's really important that you have that bit perfect. Um, so once this is all ready and you've added it to that file with the assets in it, so it's all together in one folder, you can go ahead and um, you'll click on upload a folder with metadata using one of the templates. I'll click on the folder, I will upload and it's going to go ahead. This one will probably take a little bit longer because it's quite a few images. Um, and again, it's running a little bit slower than normal, I imagine because of the extra traffic. Um, but there we go. So it started the upload. It's gonna ask you about the metadata file. So you wanna say it's this CSV that's in there. You wanna select the metadata that you're using, which I chose Dublin Core again. And it's a comma delineated, um, so it's this comma option here is the CSV. And go ahead and click complete ingest. This you can ignore, it's going to pop up and say that there's files associated with um, without associated file names, it's just the folder level. Um, so you can ignore that and continue the ingest. If you had that pop up and there were other file names on there that had errors, you would want to pay close attention to that. Um, but that's just the folder level. So we're good to go. And once again, it's going through those preservation actions for you. It's gonna check for the integrity of all of those items and the formats. So then it is completed and you can see now that it is um, popped up as a folder here. Um, and so it's gonna have those thumbnails populated really quick. And now you can click on an individual item and that metadata is already populated in there. Um, so it makes it super easy. If you have a large batch of items that you're looking to ingest and you don't wanna have to go in individually to add metadata, you can do it this way. Um, and there are ways to you know, export metadata from other sources so that you can kind of copy and paste them into the CSV. Um, it just makes it really simple to add a lot of that important record information um, quickly. All right, and so one of the things I'd like to note too, along with metadata is um, with Starter Plus, um, you can actually right click on here and you can do bulk metadata editing. So I already have a template. If I wanted to go ahead and edit that, I could go in, I can update, replace, or clear metadata, and you can pick the files and do it that way. Um, but again, that's a Starter Plus feature, but I did want to note it because it is pretty useful if you had an error or something that popped up and you realized, oh, we didn't put the date in for any of these, you can go ahead and edit it that way.